this class we discuss the application of kirchhoff's current law in terms of nodal analysis we will work out five problems on nodal analysis problem number 1 five resistors and two voltage sources are connected as shown in figure find the current in the 1.5 ohm resistor so this is a circuit there are two nodes this is node 1 this is node 2 this node voltage is v1 this node voltage is v2 first we have to write the nodal equation here v1 minus 40 divided by 2 plus v1 by 8 plus v1 minus v2 here v1 is considered as a higher potential v2 is a lower potential therefore v1 minus v2 divided by 1.5 that is equal to 0 i simplify the equation I'll get 1.3 v1 minus 0.67 v2. That is equal to 20. This is equation one. Similarly, I have to write the nodal equation two at node two. At node two, v2 is considered as a higher potential. Therefore, v2 minus 20 divided by one plus v2 by nine plus v2 minus v1 divided by 1.5 is equal to zero. Again, I simplify the equation. I will get minus 0.67 v1 plus 1.78 v2. That is equal to 20. This is equation two. I have two equation, two variables. I solve the equation. V1 is equal to 26.27. V2 is equal to 21.12. I know V1. I know V2. I can easily find what is the current flow through the 1.5 ohms. V1 minus V2 divided by 1.5. Is equal to 3.43 amps. Current flow in the 1.5 ohm resistor is 3.43 amps. That is the answer. Problem number two. Three resistors and two current sources are connected as shown in figure. This is 5 amps, 1 ohms, 2 ohms, 1 amps, 4 ohms. Find the voltage V1, V2. That is the voltage across. 1 ohm resistor voltage across the 4 ohm resistor there are two nodes this is node 1 node 2 node voltage is v1 this node voltage is v2 i have to write a nodal equation at node 1 5 is equal to v1 by 1 plus v1 minus v2 divided by 2 i simplify the equation 5 is equal to 1.5 v1 Minus 0.5 V2 is equation one. At node two, one that is one amps is equal to V2 minus V1 divided by two plus V2 by four. I simplify the equation. One is equal to minus 0.5 V1 plus 0.75 V2. This is equation two. I solve the equation. V1 is equal to 4.86 volts. V2 is equal to 4.57 volts. That's the answer. Now we'll verify the Kirchhoff's current law. This is 5 amps. I know V1. I can find what is the current flow in the 1 ohm resistor. Therefore, I1 is equal to V1 by 1. That is equal to 4.86. This current flow in the 1 ohm resistor is 4.86. Therefore, current flow in the 2 ohm resistor is. 5 minus 4.86 that is equal to 0.14 amps. So this is 1.14. This is 1 amps. So 0.14 plus 1 that is equal to 1.14. Here V2 is equal to 4.57. Therefore current flow in the 4 ohm resistor is V2 that is 4.57 divided by 4 that is equal to 1.14. Here Kirchhoff's current law is verified. The voltage V1 is equal to 4.86, V2 is equal to 4.57. Problem number three: five resistors, two voltage sources, and one current source are connected as shown in figure. The question is find the current in the 1.5 ohm resistor. In this network, there are two nodes. This is node one. This is node two. This node voltage is V1. This node voltage is V2. Here this is 9 volts. This is 6 volts. Current towards the node 1 is 0.5 amps. 0.5 is equal to V1 minus 9 divided by 
plus v1 by 3 plus v1 minus v2 by 1.5. Here I consider v1 is a higher potential. Therefore, v1 minus v2 divided by 1.5. I simplify the equation. Finally, I get 3.5 is equal to 1.333 V1 minus 0.667 V2. This is the equation 1. Similarly, at node 2, I write the node, nodal equation. Current leaving the node 2 is 0.5, that is minus 0.5 equal to V2 minus 6 divided by 3 plus v2 by 3 plus v2 minus v1 divided by 1.5. Here v2 is considered as higher potential. Therefore v2 minus v1 divided by 1.5. I simplify the equation 1.5 is equal to minus 0.667 v1 plus 1.333 v2. I got two equations. I solve the equation v1 is equal to 4.254 volts. V2 is equal to 3.254 volts. I know V1, I know V2, I can easily find current flow in the 1.5 ohm resistor. That is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 1.5. That is equal to 0.667 amps. Current flow in the 1.5 ohm resistor is 0.667 amps. Problem number 4. 4 resistors. 0.5 ohms, 1 ohms, 1 ohms, 0.5 ohms and two current sources 1.5 amps, 1 amps and one voltage source 3 volts are connected as shown in figure. The question is find the current in the 1 ohm resistor the direction is given. So in this circuit there are two nodes this is node 1 this is node 2 this node voltage is V1 this node voltage is V2. So current towards the node 1 is 1.5 amps, current towards the node 2 is 1 amps. Now I can write the nodal equation. So 1.5 is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 0.5 plus V1 divided by 0.5 plus V1 minus 3 minus V2 by 1. I simplify it. 4.5 is equal to 5 into V1 minus 3 into V2 that is equation 1 for node 1. For node 2, here current towards the node 2 is 1. 1 is equal to V2 by 1 plus V2 minus V1 divided by 0.5 plus V2 plus 3 minus V1 divided by 1. Now I simplify the equation minus 2 is equal to minus 3 V1 plus 4 V2. I got two equations. I solve the equation V1 is equal to 1.09. V2 is equal to 0.32 volts. This is 1.09 volts that is 0.32 volts. Once I know V1 V2 I can find current flow in the 0.5 ohms and 1 ohm resistor. So here in the 0.5 ohm resistor, we, uh, current flow in the 0.5 ohm resistor is equal to V1 divided by 0.5 that is equal to 2.18. Similarly V2 divided by 1 that is equal to 0 0.32 amps. Now I can easily find what is the current flow through the 1 ohm resistor. So I is equal to V1 minus 3 minus V2 divided by 1 that is equal to minus 2.23 amps. So original direction is this, but the minus sign indicates which is opposite to the original direction. Therefore, minus 2.23 amps. That's the answer. So current flow in the 1 ohm resistor is minus 2.23. Next, I verify Kirchhoff's current law. Here current towards the junction is 1.5. Current leaving the junction is 2.18. Here the current towards the junction is 2.22 therefore 1.5 plus 2.22 minus 1.54. So V1 minus V2 divided by 0.5 that is equal to 1.54 that is equal to 2.18. So current towards this point is 2.19. Here is the current leaving the junction is 1.5. 2.19 minus 1.5 that is equal to 0.68. 
So current towards this point is 0.68 plus 0.32 that is equal to 1 amps. Here current towards this is 1. This is 1 plus 1.54 that is equal to 2.54 minus 0.32 that is equal to 2.2 amps. So uh, answer both the answers are correct. Here Kirchhoff's current law is verified. Problem number 5. Find the power dissipated in the 20 ohm resistor shown in figure. This circuit consists of 7 resistors. 8 ohms, 8 ohms, 20 ohms, 4 ohms, 4 ohms, 2 ohms, 4 ohms. 2 current sources, 15 amps, 12 amps. And 1 voltage source, that is 32 volts. First step is, I convert this into a equivalent current source. That is 32 by 4. 8 amps and 4 ohm resistor is connected with the 8 amp source. I redraw the circuit like this. The circuit consists of 3 nodes. This is node 1, this is node 2, this is node 3, this is a reference node. Now I can form a matrix. This is 15 amps, this is 12 amps, this is 8 amps. Therefore, a first step I have to form a diagonal elements. In the first node, there are three resistors 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4. This is the second node, three resistors 1 by 20 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4. The third node, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. Diagonal elements are over. Next, which resistor is common to 1 and 2? 4. This is minus 1 by 4, minus 1 by 4. Which resistor is common to 1 and 3? 0. There is no resistor. Therefore, 0, 0. Which resistor is common to 2 and 3? That is 2. That is minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2. V1, V2, V3. That is equal to. At node 1, current towards this node is 15. Current leaving this node is 12. That is 15 minus 12. That is equal to 3. There is no current in the second node. Therefore, 0. Here in the third node, current towards the junction is 12. Here 8, 12 plus 8 is equal to 20. Now, this value is 0 0.5 minus 2.25, 0, minus 0 0.25, 0 0.8, minus 0 0.5, 0, minus 0 0.5, 1, V1, V2, V3, that is equal to 3, 0, 20. I can find V1, V2, V3. V1 is equal to 19.53, V2 is equal to 27.06, V3 is equal to 33.53. Once I know the node voltages, I can easily find current through the each resistor. Here the question is power dissipated in the 20 ohm resistor. So I know the node voltage V2. V2 is equal to 27.06. I is equal to V by R. 27.06 divided by 20. That is equal to 1.353 amps. Power P is equal to I square into R. That is equal to 1.353 the whole square into 20. That is equal to 36.61 watts. Power dissipated in the 20 ohm resistor is 36.61 watts. With this I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.